Hey everybody, this is a full tutorial on how to create this, a sphere image to post on social media by using this brilliant little beast, the DJI Mini 2. Um, had quite a few requests on how to get this done and I'll only be using Adobe Lightroom and Photoshop so no other third party software needed other than the Adobe Suite. Let's take a look. Right from here you can see I've located all the images for the panoramic that I want to create. So what I've done, I've imported them into Lightroom and I've only imported the panoramic shots that I want to do. So when you're on this screen, you can go in and adjust from here and then pull it across all the images if you want. But I find it's best just to click on the first image, go all the way to the last image, press and hold the shift key and then select all the images. Um, I am using Windows, so it will be slightly different on a Mac computer. Once you've done this, you then go up to here where it says photo along the top bar, click on there, and then click photo merge. So now what you want to do is merge as a panorama. Ensure that the spherical icon is clicked, which seems to work the best. And then boundary wrap, uh, boundary warp, even I always just pull it all the way to 100%. It just gives you a little bit more detail, I find. Keep the auto crop and the auto settings selected and the auto stack. Once that bit's done, click on merge. It's now to the shot, which is the flat image, which you're all quite used to seeing, I'd imagine. Now from here, you can see that all the images have been pulled together to create this panoramic view. This little DJI Mini 2 is brilliant at making sure everything matches really when you pull it all together. This again is my hometown Daventry. Um, for those that saw my previous tutorial using a third party software to do this. This way you do end up with a bit more um, of a glitch at the bottom of the image but it's, it's nothing major to worry about. Once you're happy with your image, then you can either edit the colors and everything here, but as you can see, it's pretty much done everything auto for you. The only thing I tend to do is just up the lighting a little bit and then just pull the whites down and then just try and keep the main darks and the whites off of the edge. So it's more pulled into the middle. Um, you can edit it just to get your own feel and your own effects which you want. So once this stage is done, just click up here to photo on the banner again, and then click on edit, and then edit in Adobe Photoshop uh, 2021 or whatever version you've got. Now you've got the image the way you want it by exporting it from Lightroom into Photoshop. What you want to do is open the file that you need is download from my website. So if I just locate that, so template for pano, open that and you'll see it's a blank canvas. Go back onto your image, click the image, make sure the padlock isn't showing, click on Control C for Charlie to copy it, go onto the blank canvas and Control V for Victor to paste the image in. Now you'll see there's a slight difference it might be larger it might be smaller but if you right click on your image and then click on free transform to do that you just need to make sure your image is clicked on the right hand side and then just drag the little icons to the edges to make sure it fits fully and then just click and hold the image and put it down to the bottom now what you do need to make sure is that your horizon is in the center of this canvas. So with this, you can see it's slightly off. So the only thing you can really do is stretch the image. So this part ends up in the center. So this canvas, if we just zoom in, is 
just shy of 16 inches. So if you take 16 inches and divide it by two, it ends up eight inches. So what you want to do with this is ever so slightly stretch it upwards in this case. It might be the opposite way around, but what you want to do is click and hold shift, press and hold your middle button and just move it up slightly to the eight inches. And when I say to the eight inches, I mean the horizon. So you can see now the horizon is sitting on the eight inch mark. Now from here, if we zoom back out, you'll see there's quite a big bit of empty space. So click on the image again, click on the rectangular marquee tool, zoom in and look for anything that's a high structure or a high building. Um, so you can see this radio mast, I know it's on local to Daventry, which is this town, but that's the highest thing around here. So if you go to the edge of the image, click on the selection, drag the selection box all the way along, all the way to the end, and then all the way up to the top of your clouds, let go, zoom back out, and you'll see you've selected all the top layer of clouds. So from here, right click, and then select free transform. Now if I click on here and drag up, you'll see it expands upwards and outwards. I don't want that. So if I just get it back to where it was, I only want to stretch it up. To do that, press and hold the shift key, click on the vertical arrows, once the vertical arrows appear, and then drag the image to the top. Once that's done, press enter. Now I can click outside of that to get rid of the selection. So now I want to turn it into a 3D image. You can edit the colors if you want to and do all the stuff like that. So all I'll do is click on where it says layer one, right click and flatten image. Now you've got your master image here. So from here, you want to go onto this 3D icon, spherical panorama, and then new panorama layer from selected layers. Click on there. Now what this is doing is putting it all into a 3D image. Now you can see there's a slight bit of curvature on there. So if you wanted to go in and correct that, but just for this example, I'll leave it as it is. And as you can see, you've now got your, panoram your panoramic view. And you can look down. You can see a slight bit of pinch in here. That's because it's through the uh, Lightroom application. If you do this through this application, which is called PT GUI, you don't get that on the bottom. It's a fantastic result you get using that. This seems to be a bit blurred compared to what it looks like through using the other app. So that must just be a way that it's edited it and stretched it. You can zoom up and you can see the sky still pinched together and you can zoom back down and zoom around. Once you're happy with it, click on 3D, click on spherical panoramic again, and then export panorama. And then save to the computer. And I'm just gonna put this on my desktop and I'll call it sample three for demo. And then I'll click on save. So once that's been done, you go onto your social media page, click on the box to open a new text, click on your insert a photo, and then select your photo. So I know it's on the desktop, and I know it's called sample three for demo. Now you'll notice this button isn't blue yet. So that's now downloading all the information for your panoramic photo, and that will turn blue once it's ready to go. So as you can see, it can take up to a minute or two for that to turn blue. And then just click on post. Obviously type text in if you want to type text, but I'll be deleting this once the demo is done. And now you can see you've got your panoramic view, which everyone can see and use. And that's it.
thank you very much for watching and if you do have any questions please do let me know in the comments below and like and subscribe so i'll do more tutorials like this going forwards um both for drones and the gimbal as well thank you very much